Hi, I'm Lil Silk Sharp. Today's March 9th, 2022. And I received this prophetic poem this morning at 920. So Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, Yeshua. We rebuke evil in this country, in the world. We rebuke abortion. We rebuke the virus. We rebuke everything that doesn't belong to you. We rebuke sickness, disease, what your people are going through, fear. We come against all of it in the name of Jesus, Yeshua. We thank you, Father, that you've given us authority in this world to deal with these things. Before I read this, I just want to share something because I don't think a lot of people understand this. When we go to the Father or Jesus and we pray, how do we do that? When you know a situation is coming at you that's evil or you're sick or whatever it is you're dealing with, financial problems or whatever, how do you pray to God? Do you go to him and ask him to heal you, take the situation away from you? Are you asking the Father in Jesus' name like Jesus tells us to do? He says, go to the Father and ask in my name, and it will be done. That's what he tells us to do. Do you go to the Father and you ask and beg him? A lot of us start begging him for things. Please, Father, please. I've done it myself, okay? Please, Father, please take this away from me. Please, Father, please, Father. And then we just leave it at that. If you're just doing that, you're missing out on something very important that as the body of Christ, we need to learn and we need to walk in. When Jesus was on the earth, what did he do? Did he go to the Father and pray to the Father? He did pray to the Father. He talked to the Father all the time. But when he dealt with a demon or he dealt with sickness and disease, how did he do that? What did he do? He came against it, didn't he? He was Jesus. He was the power and the fire through the Holy Spirit that was within him. So he would come against the Spirit and tell them, leave. Sickness and disease. Be healed, he would say, didn't he? The power was there with him, in him, through him. I'm going to show you and share a scripture right now. Where Peter was walking. And the guy was there, okay, by the temple. And he was asking them for money. And this is a scripture that always blew my mind. Because... Peter said to him, silver and gold I have none, but what I do have, I give you. Rise in the name of Jesus. And the person was healed right there on the spot. But what were the words that he said? Did he stop and say, Father, heal him? No, he didn't. He just told the person, I have this in me. Basically, what he was saying without saying was, I have the Holy Spirit. I've been baptized in the power and the fire. And I can give that to you right now. That's what I can do for you. Because he knew that he knew that he knew who he was. And what he was able to do as a disciple of the Most High God, Jesus' disciple. Because he was baptized in the Holy Spirit. How many of us do that? We don't have a clue about that stuff. We don't realize that the Holy Spirit, the gift of healing and miracles, is in you through him and can be used at any time when it's needed. We just never use it because we beg God, please, God, please, God, please, God. And we never say, hey, I can lay hands on the sick and see them recover in Jesus's name. It's always in Jesus's name. But what did he do in the Bible? He gave us his name to use. 
And he told us, greater works will you do in my name. Because I am going to be with the Father now. Go and do this in my name, he told us to do that. So, when you have a situation coming at you, what do you do about it? Do you take authority over it in the name of Jesus? And speak to it and command it to go? Most of us do not do that. We think we just have to go to the Father, and it is what it is, and we don't take authority over evil. We have to take authority over evil in our lives, in the lives of our loved ones that we see Satan tormenting or lying to and deceiving. Have you rebuked it? Have you rebuked the lying demons in your family? Have you rebuked the sickness and disease that you're dealing with in Jesus' name? He's telling us it's time to start doing that because he gave it to us. It's part of being a child of God in the kingdom. The Bible says healing is the children's bread. It's ours. Just like Peter said, I don't have any money. But what I do have, and he noticed he didn't say, well, what Jesus has or what the Father has. He said, what I have. Because he knew what he had in him, the Spirit of God. Do you have the Holy Spirit in you today? Then you have the same thing that he has. Only he walked in it. He knew it. And he operated in, in authority. Just like a police officer, when they stop you and they come to your side of your car, <laughs> you know it's authority. And you know that they can arrest you if they want to. And you back up to it, don't you? Mm, think about it. Well, demons back up to us. To us, yes, us. When they know that we walk with that power and authority in his name. Think about that. Don't forget that. I had no idea I was going to talk about that. The Spirit just quickened me to do that before I read this. So think about what was just said there through the Spirit. Now listen to what the Father said to me this morning. Truth, justice, the American way that's coming here to stay. Well, hallelujah to that. You think you know how things will turn out and you feel you have no doubt. But let me tell you a story of glory. When my son was nailed to the cross, everyone thought all was lost. Until the sun rose on Sunday morning. That was when they stopped mourning and realized that what looked like a defeat made the enemy retreat. The crash will seem like America has died. It will not be her demise. She will pick up the pieces from the ground and Biden will lose the crown. Hallelujah. As the world tries to recover, America will once again be discovered for her true liberty, not this infamy. The enemy is always on the move. He likes to cruise across the land, pushing people on sinking sand. And all I have to do is, wa is the wave of my hand. Do you understand? Nothing is hidden that shall not be revealed. Even all the appeals. The court system can be evil, causing upheaval. But I will tell you once again, there are many who are true friends. And when it is all said and done, evil will have lost and I will have won. All because of my son. If you continue to look at what you see, you will not see me. And that would be very sad because then you run scared. Enjoy the fruits of your salvation. It truly is throughout our nation. And across the world, in many places, you can see my people's faces. Smile, be of good cheer, do not fear. And the reason I keep trying to show you what will be is because it truly is America's true destiny. And she is meant to be free. There is always a death to life, even when you lose your life and come into my kingdom and walk in the spirit. Everyone will one day hear it. Shout it from the housetops and let the world know. Jesus is their salvation. They should never let it go. 
As the world is under attack and wants Putin to draw back, keep your eyes on me. It is all part of setting America free so she can be the shining light to the world and the Holy Spirit moves across in a whirl and grabs hold of people everywhere. The enemy will no longer dare to stop me from claiming my people as we will build the steeple and declare the earth to be mine. We will dine. It will be sublime. As I write my words in this rhyme and my people continue to shine, you are all part of the vine and you are all mine. It is time. Faith is believing without seeing, so do not waver. Control your behavior and let the world see that you are part of me. And Yeshua is the key for all eternity. This is my plea. Can you see so you can be free? Love your father who art in heaven. And that's what I got. <laughs> that's some powerful words that he said there. Go back and listen to it again if you have to, over and over if you need to, to hear what he's saying. Then I got an email right before I did this. And in the email, the woman said to me she had a dream. She has dreams every so often from the spirit. And in the dream, her husband walked in the room with the cell phone and said, the crash has happened. So she looks at the cell phone and there was like a picture on it, okay, of the stock market, where the stock market place is. And there were people around from what she remembers and there were people like laying on the ground. She said it looked like they were dead. Now, that could be symbolic. That could be people are actually going to, take their lives because of the crash, because it could be so devastating. There's a lot could be involved in that. But we have to take it for what it's showing us. The crash is coming. All right? And people are going to be affected by it. Some are going to take it like a death. It's going to be like a death, people. I'm going to say this again. The crash is going to be like a death for America. But it's the very thing that's going to bring her back because people are going to come to the Lord through it. People are going to work together once again in this country. We're going to stop being so picky uni about everything we deal with. And we're going to see what's actually serious and what we need to deal with to save America. So God says he's going to use it. He's using everything that's going on in the world right now, including what Russia is doing. It is all part of the plan of God. And we have to trust him and understand that because he tells us, He'll never leave us or forsake us, and he loves us. You have to know how much he loves you in order to have peace in your life. Because if you don't, you're just constantly going to condemn yourself. Oh, why did I do that? I know better than I shouldn't have done that, and I did it again. We're human, and he gets it. He knows we're human. He knows we're frail. He knows we fall on our face. But it doesn't mean our hearts are against him. It doesn't mean we don't love him with all that we are. We do our best, do we not? Do you not do your best every day to walk the walk with your God? That's what he looks at. Even if you fall on your face, he's looking at the fact that you desire to be perfect for him. And he tells us, be ye perfect. That's what he tells us to do. So we strive to be perfect, but we're not always perfect, but we do our best. And the more you walk in the spirit, the more you will be filled with the power and the fire. And you'll take charge of things that come at you that you know are not from God. You won't panic over it. You won't go into fear. You'll rebuke it in Jesus' name. You won't be sitting in your room begging God to heal you when healing is for you. Now, I get it that we don't all get healed physically in this world. I get it. People do die and go home. There's a lot involved in it. And we don't have the whole picture. So we don't always understand. But we win. We can't lose when we have the Lord in our lives. It doesn't matter whether you, you're dead or whether you're alive. Because if you die and leave your body, you are free in him. If you are here and you're struggling and you're suffering, you're still free in him, in your spirit. Because the spirit has the Holy Spirit in it and Satan can't touch it unless you choose to walk into his territory and leave and follow the devil. And I don't think anybody that watches my visit, vi videos is following the devil. 
And if you are, and you just happen to put this on, well, it's time to accept Jesus. If you don't know the Lord in your life, and you just by chance saw this video and started watching it, it's time to accept Jesus as part of your world and your life so he can give you what he has. And what does he have? He has love, peace, compassion, understanding, forgiveness for you. For all of us, it's part of who Jesus is. It's part of who the Father is. And we will win. No matter when it happens, we do win this. So it's something that you can hold on to forever. Because we will be in his kingdom at some point in time. We are in his kingdom right here on the earth if we know it. A lot of us don't even know it. We're so wrapped up in the world, we don't even realize we're in the kingdom of God on the earth. And we need to function in it. Peter said, silver and gold I have none, but what I do have I give you freely. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus, he said. And an instant miracle happened. Now, we don't always see instant miracles. Times we do. And times, healings, is, they're called healings. So sometimes they can take time to play out. A miracle is instant. A healing is something that takes time, but you still will be healed of it. So there's a lot that we don't know and a lot we're learning. We're learning, we're learning, we're learning. And I love you and have a blessed day. And I'll be back when he sends me back again.